Yo, yeah, how's going guys? So on this video, I want to teach you step by step how to make this trending style inside the After Effects. I really hope you like it. Please drop a like and let's go. First, I'm going to create a new composition. So press Ctrl and uh, those is going to be my settings. So 30 FPS, 15 seconds. And yeah, that's perfect. Just click OK. Now we're going to make our solid. So Ctrl Y and just click OK. I'm going to put the effect as gradient radio all those plugins i'm gonna use have all my artists back and the actors pack is inside my school so if you want to be after effects premiere plugins scripts anything you're gonna find there i'm gonna increase a little bit right here and right here and i'm gonna change the white to gray something like this just click ok yeah that's perfect now you're gonna add our text so Control t or you can just click right here and I'm gonna add editor. That's good. I'm using Arial as a font and regular. And yeah, that's perfect. So I'm gonna select the text, press Control Alt Home, Control Home, and okay. Yeah, that's good. Now we're gonna make our line. So press G or click right here on the pen. Click right here on the fill and select this option right here. Click OK. Select this stroke but white and I guess six is good it's not very thick it's not very thin I guess that's perfect so I'm gonna click right here right here right here and right here yeah that's good something like this I'm gonna change uh the color now I'm gonna add a effect called for color gradient you can put uh the the colors the points right here something like this and i'm gonna change a little bit of the the color right here i want to red on this yellow right here i want to red but a little bit less right here on the green i want to white and right here on the blue i want to red as well but a little bit lighter so yeah i guess that's good i'm gonna click right here content shape stroke go to taper and you can increase it the taper make this effect right here i'm gonna just take something like this i guess that's good now for me that's perfect i'm gonna change a little bit of those points i guess something like this right here on the text i'm gonna red button uh larry styles gradient overlay click right here i'm gonna change this white to black and this black to white and just click ok and i'm gonna change a little bit of the offset right here to something like this that's good i'm gonna add a preset from my back and i'm gonna just remove this effect right here and as you can see give this effect right here you can pre-compose this layer so Control shift c move all the in the composition and adjust direction time span and i'm gonna add a deep glow you can add later if your pc is not very good because the deep glow is a little bit heavy i'm gonna just increase a little bit of this stroke yeah that's good i'm gonna get this point but like maybe right here click right here and add trim paths click right here put the end on zero and click on the start press u and i'm gonna put 100 f9 we can just get the graph and make this graph right here something like this yeah that's perfect i'm gonna make a new text so Control t click right here and i'm gonna uh unselect this option right here i don't wanna all in caps plot so yeah Control to home press s and you can just preset i'm gonna put like right here i'm gonna decrease a little bit more double click on this composition and i'm gonna go to window extension animation kit and i'm gonna put this number right here unselect this out option i just click apply and as you can see it's gonna make this effect right here so gonna be your text animation and i'm gonna make animation for this text as well again if you want those plugins have all my spec for free doesn't have any malware anything like that so uh Click right here and make position. I'm gonna put two, 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 and proper opacity. I'm gonna put zero. Click right here. Uh, offset. We're gonna put negative 100. Click advanced. Change square to ramp up. But uh, trying to five right here and is low. Gonna put 100. And you can change. Oh, I guess that's good. Press U and put 
100 and as you can see it's gonna make this animation right here so it's gonna be something like this yeah that's good you can uh, double click right here on this layer click right here on the layer styles and copy this gradient overlay and just paste it right here yeah that's perfect Control shift c move out to the composition and you can just copy this the flow and don't forget this effect as well so it's gonna make this effect right here that's good i'm gonna create a new solid so Control alt shift y i'm gonna select uh this holding shift select those right here as well click right on the 3d and get this tool and put it right here on the node click right here on the 3d as well and that's good press p mark the keyframe but a little bit forward and just i'm gonna just put a little bit forward something like this f9 got the graph oh don't forget to save your project so Control s and we're gonna make this graph right here i'm gonna create a new node so control alt shift y control shift d they like this one get this pay equip and connect to the node click right on the 3d press p click right here and you're gonna put like right here i'm gonna make a new tag so control t and i'm gonna add okay it's gonna be you can learn money editing i'm gonna just like right here i'm gonna put all caps lock and change to bold italic and i'm gonna change to it gets bold press s i'm gonna decrease a little bit and i feel like something like this right here i'm gonna change the color for i guess green and give more spacing click right here on the 3d get the pick whip and put it on the new one i'm gonna put like right here here control on i'm gonna make a new line so press g click right here and oh don't forget click right on the 3d but on the no as well and i'm gonna put like i guess right here good and put the text right here control out home control d right button transform and flip horizontal and put like right here yeah that's good i'm gonna change just a little bit of the position f9 all those keyframes click right here on the graph and make this graph right here and i'm gonna make a new animation so Control alt shift y again Control shift d delete this one and get a pick whip but on the new tree click right here on the 3d press p click right here and i'm gonna make this animation right here f9 got the graph and make this graph right here and about a little bit back it's gonna be something like this that's good right here we're gonna make the same animation so click right here animate position i'm gonna put like two 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 add proper opacity but negative but zero click right here offset we're gonna change to a negative 100 click on the keyframe get at the uh square change to print up but trans 5 and put 100 and you can change the characters to words press u and i'm gonna make i just put 100 so let's take a look yeah, something like this change just a little bit of the position of the keyframes yeah that's perfect for me i'm gonna click right here on the shape layer on the shift click on this one and you can change the stroke to red and we're gonna just click right here add trim paths click right here but and to zero and click on this start press u and we're gonna make this animation right here just the same for the other one f9 and we're gonna put like right here i guess you can add a uh, tip blow as well now we're gonna make this uh box right here press q uh so the rectangle too we're gonna make oh and cannot have anything selected it is really important this so uh, oh don't forget click right on the fill but white and stroke but zero so i'm gonna make something like this i guess you can change a little bit yeah control to home control home i'm gonna blank right here right here on the roundness you can increase it i'm gonna change the fill to gray okay red button play styles and we're gonna add inner shadow like right here increase the opacity you can increase the distance and the size as well decrease a little bit of the opacity and you can change the angle to something like this i'm gonna increase the stroke it's gonna be like a white something like this you can strict the you can change the stroke i'm gonna change a little bit of the stroke as well uh for me it's too thick that's so gonna be like three yeah that's good right button again play styles and i'm gonna put bevel and emboss look right here increase the um, size decrease the 
death and yeah that's perfect now we're gonna add our tax so control t and i'm gonna put and i'm gonna add let me see i don't have a clue what i'm writing it's just for task so yeah whatever control alt home control home press s I'm gonna decrease a little bit of the scale, remove this option right here, and I'm gonna just change a little bit right here. It's gonna be something like this. Control to home, control home again. You can increase it, something like this. I'm gonna copy this gradient overlay right here. So control A, control C, and right here, control V. So I'm just gonna change the color. I'm gonna put like, uh, let me see, a yellow, maybe orange. Yeah, that's good. And again, I can change the offset. I'm gonna go to Window, Extensions, Animation Kit, and I'm gonna add the same animation as we did before. It's gonna be this one right here. Control Shift C, move Auto Boost in Composition, and we're gonna add a CC Light Sweep. Change the direction to zero. Press the width, Sweep Intensity. Press S, and I'm gonna increase a little bit of this scale. And yeah, that's good. I'm gonna just change a little bit of the shape layer it's gonna be something like this click right here holding shift click on this one Control shift c and i'm gonna name it for box and um, click right here on the 3d and let me see oh don't forget to link to the node and i'm gonna put like right here press b and i'm gonna uh, and i'm gonna change the z position right here holding shift press s and i'm gonna decrease a little bit of the scale something like this i can change a little bit of the position of the keyframes yeah that's way better and yeah that is for now if you're on the part two just drop a like and please check my school link on the description thank you so much guys and have a good one